from the ABC 25 studio. This is Eyewitness News at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Shelley Kirk. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. A lot on the agenda at tonight's Evansville City Council meeting, including approval of more federal COVID-19 funds to help those facing eviction. And a proposal, also withdrawn, that would have increased the rights of tenants in the city. Eyewitness News, Noah Lotza has the latest. We first met George Dunn in July when he was renting out his Evansville property to a friend, which he says ultimately turned into a living nightmare. I don't know how big property owners go through this. We're just somebody small. We just have one rental property. I mean, it, and it killed us. Dunn's property was damaged extensively over the summer, but now one ordinance introduced by Councilmember Zach Hieronymus will set the framework for giving tenants more rights, but Dunn says that should be the other way around. When you get trashy people in your homes, it's, they're trashy people. It doesn't matter what ordinances you have, it doesn't matter what leases you sign, it doesn't matter if you have an attorney and it's notarized or any of that stuff. They don't care. The ordinance was withdrawn. It's expected to be brought up next year, and the city council member who introduced it says now wasn't the right time. And we want to make sure that what we're bringing together is something that uh, has community input, especially from those that could be impacted by it. The council also voted on more COVID-19 federal relief. Mayor Winicky had asked the city council earlier this afternoon to approve those federal funds, totaling $750,000 to help residents facing eviction. And tonight, the city council approving those funds unanimously. A little over 500000 will go to the Salvation Army, and around 240000 will go to CAPE, because both of those entities have the capacity to help roughly uh, 500 or so households. Um, with their needs. But some council members have questions on the timing. We don't like how it's been brought to us to determine typically of a first reading and then two weeks later at the next council meeting then you vote on it. So this seems to be a little rushed. We haven't heard a good reason for that. The council will meet again next week. In Evansville, Noah Alatza, Eyewitness News. Let's take a look now at today's COVID case numbers. Vanderbilt County confirmed 179 new cases and one